Hey curl friends and welcome back. Since today's video I'm going to show you guys how to dye hair honey blonde. This is the Beauty Forever Body Wave hair. I left it in its original state at one point, dyed it copper with a box dye and now we're going honey blonde. So I'm starting off this entire transformation with a brand new cut. I originally had this as a middle part bob and I decided to switch it on up, switch it onto the side, do a little side part action and I just wanted to even out this entire cut. So I pretty much just put the wig onto a mannequin head and I switched the entire parting off to the side. I switched the entire wig to the side as well to give it more of a dramatic look. The closure on this wig is only a 4x4 closure so it doesn't take up a lot of space on this wig so I had to shift the entire wig over to the side of my choice and now I'm just evening out the entire look. I don't want it to be asymmetrical anymore, I want this entire look to be a blunt cut. So my overall results are going to be pretty much a shoulder sheet cut. It's going to be right above my shoulders. Here I am checking to make sure that I have the length that I desire. And I'm just going to go back in and refine this cut. And here is my final cut. So now I'm moving into the next process which will be lifting the hair. I'm going to lift out that box color. Now if you're doing this yourself at home be sure to follow your manufacturer's instructions as far as your color and developer. I went ahead and just grabbed some BW2 powder. I followed the instructions and I pretty much just eyeballed the developer. I color hair all the time so I'm pretty used to the measurements. And I'm just going to go back in and lighten everything out. When I originally lightened this hair with a box dye, I lightened the back super super light and then I toned everything down with a nice brown or honey blonde towards the top. So I have my desired shade right here. I'm just going to lift it a tiny bit brighter and tone it at the same rate. I want to tone out all of the super, super brassy areas and give it a nice honey blonde finish. So I'm separating the hair and I'm gonna move in with my next lightener. This is the Kaleida Colors Lightener. This is a lightener and toner all in one step. So that is why it's this purple color. It's great for achieving nice honey blondes or brown. And here is my final result as far as my color is concerned. So now I'm just going to go ahead and move into styling and as you guys can see the very back of my nape is super super bright. It's almost a nice beautiful blonde and then on top of that is the honey blondes and shades of brown. So it kind of tones down that brightness. And I'm going in with my Arvazaya Heat Protectant. This is their Argan Oil Hair Treatment. Using my Paul Mitchell Pro Tool Smooth Iron, I'm going to go ahead and start flat ironing this hair. I will have the heat on a very low setting because we already lightened this hair twice already. It's pretty much fried and dyed as far as color is concerned. I want to keep the integrity of the hair. I don't want to burn it at all. So I'm keeping the settings pretty low and I made sure to use a heat protectant prior to flat ironing. And as you guys can see, I'm getting all the shine and luster back in the hair. The hair looks super, super nice for freshly colored hair. I'm just making sure to hit all of the roots to make sure that the roots are super, super straight and sleek and I'm just bumping those ends. I decided to go for more of like a flipped, like flip bang type of look to give it more height and body and movement, especially with the color. I thought it would be super, super bomb to have this color brought out with body and movement. And here are my final results. So I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope I explained it. It's pretty much just two steps as far as box color you want to pretty much lift out that color and then tone it to whatever color you desire. It's pretty simple and easy, but it can strip the hair. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.